All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Paul Samayoi, and we're back for another edition of Pokemon Y Shiny Hunting episode 497, and this is going to be hunting for a Tortuga. So, when I do find this Tortuga, uh, since it's like a minty color as a shiny, uh, when I find the shiny, shiny Tortuga, I mean, um, I'll actually be calling it Mint Tuga. Mint Tuga. So it's like, instead of Tur, it's, um, M-I-N, and then obviously Tuga is like with a T, so it just like blends in Mint Tuga. So, yeah, what I plan on with the name, so. Anyways, uh, this episode's topic is by me. It's about Kingdom Hearts 358 and a half days, and this is pretty much, what do you play that game on? Because uh, I know it's just pretty much for the, the DS only to play it, and of course, like, on the... Um, for the remixes on like the consoles, that's only like the cutscenes, so you can't actually play it on other ones. Um, but obviously you can like play emulator and all that stuff. So for now, um, I just play it on the drafted DS emulator on my like, Kendall that you can get, because that's like the best way to play DS uh, games on like an emulator. Because um, on computers, I don't think no matter how good of a computer you have, it just always is laggy for some reason. I don't know why. I mean, if it works for you, find the one that works, then awesome, but um, eventually, of course, with all the games that I'm temporarily just playing for free, just to like make sure I actually like them a lot, and then just like, have the money in general, I will eventually buy them just to support the company, and just, you know, have a physical game of them, so, um, or you can just buy, like, the digital copy, of course, as long as you're actually paying and supporting for it, then I think that's good. So anyway, I got a lot more done on Minecraft yesterday. Um, I pretty much did a lot of exploring, and then I found the thing that took forever for me to find. I didn't think I was going to find it anytime soon, but I found the Elder Guardian Temple. So I was able to take down two of the Elder Guardians. Uh, I obviously used the Chen's Gold Apple, because of course there's three bosses total. Two more now left to take down, which is the Ender Dragon and the Wither. Um, obviously I just used one, because, you know, why not use them? I'm going to use them if I have them. <laughs> So I did that, and I had all water breathing and stuff, but I'm just going to say it right now, that's like the one thing I'm never going to look forward to, probably, is fighting the Elder Guardian Temple, because it's literally, I have an efficiency 5 diamond pickaxe, and if you have mining fatigue, it literally takes like 10 seconds for like a crack to show up on the block. So it takes about how many cracks? So it's like five cracks until the block is broken, so that means like about a minute pretty much of mining each block. And that is if you're not even underwater, you have to surround yourself in blocks to like torch yourself, like put torches down so it's like no water. And literally that's like the fastest you can go. And I placed my ender chest down just to make sure I get my potions back and everything because I put my extra potions and all that in there. Um, yeah, just uh, good luck picking that up even with that stuff. So I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm just going to go in creative mode break the ender chest and then just resummon it back to my house so either ways uh yeah i was able to get the uh the eight gold blocks and yeah so i pretty much got another enchanted golden apple so now i have three total one i used uh you know against the other guardian and then i defeated two of them by the way there was i guess there's three but i explored as much as i can and i just couldn't find it an entrance to the other part where the other Elder Guardian was. So I was like, you know, screw it. I already beat it at least once. I'm counting that towards defeating it uh, towards the Vanilla Minecraft completion, beating, beating Vanilla Minecraft. So, also, with my Looting 2 sword, I found a few Endermen, like I think three, and every time they've been giving two Ender Pearls. So I'm like, two more Ender Pearls away. So if I just find one more Enderman, I'm just grinding and staying uh, around this one village area that I found that's like a spruce forest. Um, so I'm doing that. So just one more enderman and then I can go to the end. And yeah, I literally will just be, after that, grinding for wither skeletons. Cause I, obviously, you're right next to another fortress when I enter the nether because I got really lucky with my portal placement. Because <laughs> um, yeah, believe it or not, I just put my nether portal in my fishing room, like in my house. So yeah, I got super lucky with that being right next to uh, Nether Fortress, because it can take forever to find Nether Fortress, just like with me how it took pretty much forever to find the Elder Guardian Temple. If you're not really close to an ocean, and even if you do find an ocean, there's not a guarantee there's going to be one in there, so you might be searching for a long time. So I'm glad I got that stuff out of the way. 
So I really, uh, I don't know, depending if I'm able to play a lot of Minecraft today, then I think I might be able to beat Vanilla Minecraft today. I feel, I feel it definitely, because I know I can beat the Ender Dragon. That's not, that's not going to be hard. That it really isn't, because literally all you got to do, obviously, is take down the, um, crystals on the pillars and all that. That might be a little tough, but actually taking on the uh, Ender Dragon itself is really not that tough at all. Uh, especially with my like armor and my bow as well, so I have plenty of stacks of arrows. I'm like pretty much guaranteed, and then I'm gonna get a bunch of experience after. So I'm hoping I can put that towards getting my looting three sword. I already have a looting two, so just like you know, either another looting two diamond sword, so I'll just combine the two, or um, or you know, getting two more looting one books and combining them, and then combining the looting two book with the looting two sword, so I have looting three. That'll be the best chance to get wither skeletons from the wither, the wither skulls from the wither skeletons. Um, Cause yeah, they already are a rare chance. It's like the rarest item drop in the game you can get. So I might still be there for a while, but I'm getting close to beating vanilla Minecraft. I'm pretty excited to finally move on to the the modded one with the bleach mod and the Naruto mod. So I really want to play those. That would be super fun. Cause vanilla Minecraft is fun, but I want to be able to play like the mods that I love. I just wanted to make sure to beat at least vanilla Minecraft once, uh, finally, because before now, the furthest that I ever got into beating vanilla Minecraft, or getting close, was pretty much just stopping at getting into the nether fortress and grinding for the blaze rods. That's how, like, far away I was from beating vanilla Minecraft. Because I was like, every time, if you don't have good armor, even if you do, um, I even find myself dying from the blazes because the fire stacks up and you can't really get rid of the fire that easily, because you can't put water in the nether, it just instantly evaporates, so you have to like run around and dodge the fireball, and if you're good with like using the shield, bounce the shield off of the fireball, I mean use the shield to bounce the fireballs off, because you can do that, just obviously the shield isn't that strong, so if you, if you use it a bunch it's going to get whittled down, and then you could eventually make another one, which is like vulnerability to you to get attacked again, <laughs> so it's really scary, but um, yeah, I've been doing way better. I'm way better at Minecraft, I would say. Uh, it just takes a lot of grinding. Like, some people uh, just want to just go fast and just go in there with, like, iron armor. I can tell you right now, that's not a good idea. You can try, don't get me wrong, but you're most likely not going to have a good time. You might stand a good chance for a little while, but eventually your armor's going to break. And like I said, you got to make a whole new set of armor, and then you without armor, is just, you're pretty much screwed, so... Yeah, you gotta be really careful in the nether. Um, but the end is not really as scary as the nether, because, you know, as long as you don't look at the endermen, then, you know, the ender dragon the only thing you gotta worry about, I'm pretty sure. And I guess endermites as well. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot of stuff that you want to make sure to prepare for, because you just want to grind for diamonds and all that stuff. Uh, so, yeah. But anyways, also, um, so the next thing after I beat Pokemon Moon, like actually do all the stuff in there, um, I'm actually just going to go back to Pokemon Omega Ruby and finish off that. Like, what I mean finish off that is like, um, finish off the Delta episode, because that's the only thing left that I have in there that I haven't beat. I mean, I'll probably look up the side stuff that I can do, um, and then do that as well, like that it's not, if it's like stuff I actually want to do. And this is going to be the same for Pokemon Moon. Um, but then after that, then I can actually move on to Ultra Sun, because my brother said he just doesn't care to play that game anymore, it's just boring, so I just delete the file. And I pretty much researched my whole team that I'll use in there. And that team that I'm going to have, specifically one Pokemon actually, it's just going to be really tough to like evolve and everything, because I'm just going to spoil it right now, it's, it's Happiny, and how I'm going to get it early on in the game is... Um, when you find a Pichu in Ultra Sun, uh, just in the wild, it's like a 5% chance. It, there's a chance of an SOS call for a Happiny, so I want a Happiny um, to just hopefully, you know, eventually have a Blissey by the end of the game. But you need an Oval Stone to have it evolve into Chansey, and then from Chansey, you need High Friendship to evolve into Blissey. So it's like one of the hardest ones to evolve in, in general. It's very interesting. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm really curious uh, to know how long it's going to take to get the Happiny into a Chansey. Because I'm not going to get it past uh, level 22 just so I can learn the 
Move at 23, it learns as Chansey, which is... What is the move? Um, minimize, because I really want that move on there. That would be smart to have. Very good one. Um, but yeah, and then the only way you can get an Ultra Stone in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon is in Pokepelago. And what I mean by that is pretty much there's an island that, of course, you have to have a lot of Pokemon in the box. Um, I don't exactly know how that works. Like, I think maybe the least amount that you need is like 12 in your box or 15 or 16 or something. And then maybe you can pick, like, whatever you want, or maybe it's, like, the more Pokemon you have in your box, the better islands you can get. Because the island I want to go is the one where you send them out on, like, little, like, uh, journeys, like, explorations to, like, sometimes find items. And it's only a chance that they can find the oval stone. And it takes a full 24 hours to do, so probably I'm not going to be using Happini really um, until, like, the end of the game. Until at least I get it to, like, level, you know, 22, I mean. But after that, you know, and then obviously not let it die, not let it faint, because the friendship thing, you know, is important, so I gotta be careful. So yeah, it's just my whole team on there is just really gonna be tough to, like, evolve and stuff. So I believe I also wanted, uh, there's like a bunch of them, just like, you'll, you'll see it, well, you won't most likely see it still, because I probably won't have a tripod by then, but, um... Yeah, I did the research and everything. Um, but, yeah. What else was I going to say? I have no idea what else I was going to say. I don't even know. Oh, wait, that's right. An Ultra Sun is going to be the same exact outfit as in Moon. Um, so, yeah, don't expect anything different there because I literally looked up all that stuff yesterday. So yeah, it's gonna be the same stuff and the same battle style. So I realized also the Reverend battle style—that's what it's called. You literally unlock that after you defeat, um, uh, after you defeat like the Elite Four and all that stuff, and you go into the Lush Jungle and you challenge Malo. Uh, after you beat her in battle, like her personally, because obviously you do her trial, but you never actually fight her in the game yet. Uh, but then you can eventually fight her after you beat the Elite Four, like the first game, I mean. Um. But yeah, after you defeat her, you go to the guy in Mali, uh, power plant, like Mali City in that power plant place, uh, or the dump or whatever it's called, um, and he gives you, like, the option to change your battle style, and the Reverend one, I guess the only reason why I liked it, because I looked through all the other ones, is because you're, like, in a thinking pose, and I guess when you throw your Pokeball, it's something cool, maybe, I don't know, but it's mainly for, like, the pose that they do, so I think that's just the best pose in my opinion. But obviously the other ones are pretty cool because I like that one the best, the Reverend style. So yeah, um, but in Pokemon Omega Ruby, uh, since it's not considered setting up for like shiny hunting, I'm actually going to be hunting stuff to complete my base, like saving up money, so I'll be like grinding the Elite Four, I guess. So, um, because you can have secret bases in there, I just wanted to have my own secret base because I'll actually be shiny hunting in it. Um, so I'm pretty excited for that as well. Cause there's a bunch of stuff that's going to cost a lot of money, but um, it'll be worth it, definitely. And I'm just excited to go back to that game in general, because I still, like I said, left off to the Delta episode, but I've got to train my Pokemon to, like, I believe my document said, like, 61, because I fought the uh, strongest that last one that I fought was Steven, the champion, which was, like, Metagross, I think it was, like, 59, so that's why I wanted to grab my team's level 61. So yeah, and also, I should be probably reviving one more, and if it's not shiny, I'll probably just end off this episode 497. So yeah. Obviously, if it is shiny, then I will keep it. But if not, then oh well. Alright, yeah, so if it's not shiny, I will end off this part. Okay, I'm going to end off 497.